It's a veggie BLT pita! I totally suck at video games, but love to play them anyway. Aloha, and welcome to day seven of the 12 games of Christmas, and it's a Veggie Beauty Peter special. And today's game is Robot Alchemic Drive, which is a very special little game. I'm not even gonna... Let's see if I have to explain anything. This is a PS2 game that pretty much nobody else I know has ever heard of. We're gonna play easy mode just because I can. Oh, wait. Mm. Nope, you gotta do this mode. I'm sorry. The, there, you control a giant robot in this game called a Mega Knight, and uh, it's got the most unique controls for a robot that I have really ever played. And there's three different ones. The mobility on this one sucks, but since I'm just playing around, we're gonna go with the main one, the Mega Knight Vavel, the most powerful combat abilities. This is also one of those PS2 games, by the way, where uh, it's very Japanese. They didn't bother to change the controls, so circle is uh, the, you know, select button. And here's our heroes. Our other hero. And the girl. But since we're going traditional, we will go with traditional cheerful with a sense of justice. Normal mode? Yes. 1969. Okay. Uh, a little bit about this game. Literally the only other person I know who's played this game is my friend from high school and college. And we, like, he's the one who originally bought it. I don't even know how he heard about it, but I watched him play it in college and it was amazing and campy and beautiful. And like I was saying, it has the most, mm, if not realistic, at least the most unique robot controls in a game with giant robots. So. I ended up buying. This is the only PS2 game I ever bought that didn't have an instruction book with it. Because it was getting hard to find around that time, and if I didn't buy the one copy I found, I probably would never find it at all. So I'm very sad that I don't have an instruction book for this game. Okay, this is, I'm sorry, too much. I can't skip it, can I? Nope, you get to read this text, I'm sorry, while I talk. And clear my throat and hopefully edit out clearing my throat. <laughs> Anyway, so the, the way I, this is going to be really bad because I don't exactly remember how to play it, but as you saw a little bit, you use the L1 and R1 buttons to move like the legs, so it's like and I'm pretty sure you use the analog sticks to do like, I'm trying to do my arm motion right now, which I'm like, mm, they can't see me, can they? But uh, so you like swing the robot's arm with like the analog sticks. Which the only other game I really know that used analog sticks for actual fighting was that... Was it a Jet Li one or something? It didn't do... didn't do too well. But in this game it kind of works because it's... Giant robot. Look at them animes. Hello, we bring oh you yeah, news. This, uh, this game has some great voice acting. It's... It's, it's just... just I can't unbelief. skip this either, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rome is reportedly under attack by a gigantic humanoid weapon. But oh, that sincerity. It is said to have suddenly appeared and begun attacking indiscriminately. Hooray! Damage is estimated to be catastrophic. She's pretty, at least. More she may not have much emotion, updates. but she's pretty. Oh. That, oh, that was pretty good. Make oh! Connection. We've got a live feed from the The translation machine. in this game isn't the best either. They did! I'm sure they had a pretty crunchy budget. Well, wait, now I'm looking. Enix brought this game over before they even merged with Square? Enix, you didn't give this game much of a budget or thought at all, did you? I wish I could skip this for this you to get to some gameplay. Rome. The city is under attack by a towering humanoid weapon, <laughs> which suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The weapon <laughs> appears to be attacking indiscriminately. The city is burning. It's it's unbelievable. Is it sad it's that like for some movie. reason this oh, reminds me of the Yu-Gi-Oh! bridged movie it, it where it's apart. like it's they're in Venice incredible. or Rome or whatever and Jaden is, is there and I you, you gotta watch it yourself. It's a great, this terrible, awesome this parody. This is reality! As you can hear, terrible things happening. 
Come on, let me get to the giant robot gameplay. Robots! But it, okay, the other way, to, the other unique control aspect in this is you're not inside the robot. You, it's, it's your character, you know, the uh, cheerful, what did I call it? Cheerful, justice minded guy. You have to run around the town and, like, follow where you're making your robot so you can see your robot. So you don't get to pilot it. Not only do you not get to pilot it, and not only are the controls wonky, but you have to get to where you can see it or else you can't see your robot and the controls won't work because they lose a connection. But they make your character control the robot with, uh, essentially, a PS2 controller. Which is, I mean, it just, it worked. Look, there I am. Ah, oh, darn. I'm late. Rome's getting destroyed and I'm late. I've got late. to hurry before she leaves without me. Oh, no. Oh, wow, I can't even use the analog sticks. That's right. Jump. I could jump, though. And float. It's it's the future. Uh -huh. Post <laughs> In the middle of traffic. Platform. Well, there's the station. Good. I found the station. And the happy music while Rome is getting destroyed. That's how you can get up to like taller buildings and stuff. I made it. The platforms up past the wick. I didn't make it. This is the second game in a row where I've played like in a station. I I guess it was an airport last time, but still. Hey, look, I found her! It's Nana! Nana? Nana, Nana. You're late! Crap, what's her name? Uh, yeah. I want to call her Sorry. Nanako, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. That's just... Nanao! Nanao! We've been it's close! Junior high. <laughs> she has the best line in the anyway, game thanks for joining that you're probably not going to get to. But basically she's like, I hate robots! Robots kill people! Robots kill grandma! And it's just the way she says it. It's amazing. Oh, no now. Rut row! Sirens! These graphics actually aren't too bad for whenever this game was made, I think. Attention, Mr. Sukiyoka. Calling Mr. Is that me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Captain Tom? What is La 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 la. Sorry, we're skipping some of this voice acting. The Trillennium Committee? The it's special. Gone active. Just trust me on that. What are you talking about? The dun dun dun. Bankruptcy. There's plot? There doesn't need to be plot in my giant robot game. So sorry you guys aren't seeing a lot of the action, what is but. This? this game is still what? fun. And now you can see the beginning. The phantom effect. Rut Rose, giant robot. Oh. Dual shock. Oh no, it's the same one that was in Rome, or at least looks like it. They kind of got some interesting designs. Apparently, I can't believe what is it? it? Well, uh, the like character that? designs, not the robots, I think, but the character designs are by Toshihiro Kawamoto. And I can't oh, place God, the name giant. myself, but he, I mean, the, the, looks nice. The, um, I can't talk, the designs. I was just trying to run around with the analog stick. Running around, running straight is kind of hard in this game. I want to go here. Yes, I made it. I can't change the camera. There's the camera view. Hi. Am I supposed to go towards you? I don't. No, <laughs> that was probably a mistake. Didn't happen. We're cool. Where am I supposed to? Oh, okay, good. That robot is heading towards the city. Oh, this is when the robot kills Grandma. I have to go. <laughs> I just left you alone at the wait. station and jumped on a giant crazy alien. I have to go home to Grandma. She wasn't feeling well, so she stayed in bed. <laughs> Wait, are you going to try running past that robot? I just did it. So can you now. I have to save my grandma. Poor grandma. All right, I'll go with you. Too late. I'm already way far away. When do I get my robot? What map? There's a map? Yeah, so there is. Red spot on the map. So this way-ish. I like that when he jumps, he just starts going super high. 
Yeah, it's like Superman. Technically, it's kind of like, oh lordy. And then you fall. <coughs> and nothing happens, and it's okay. Am I close? There we go. It's this way. All of the people running. Let's jump again. Where's Nanao's grandma's house? Ah, it's almost here. <laughs> Am I here? Am I... It's one of these! I don't know which one. Do I have to be in the front? Apparently. Come on, Nanao's grandma. Which house are you in? This one? I'm at your house. Come on, Mr. Red Spot. That's ginormous and could be like three different houses. <sighs> am I here or am I not? Or did I just forget in an hour and that's why it's not letting me go? Okay, okay. Ah! Oh, Grandma. She's no. sad now. This can't be true. I'm sad now. Poor Grandma. See. Senjo is on fire. Well, that sucks. Now what? I'm gonna run towards the robot again because I can. And jump and fly and wait for my thing to lose out. Yes, here we go. I think this is where a new. Ro it's the professor! A body crafted of Repton. We're gonna skip to see if I can get a robot before 12 minutes passes. If I'm lucky. Here, man. What good timing. It's a Volgara. It's not the time for that! Take cover! You get to fight it! Huh. Da, 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 da. What, pur what purpose? The Mega Knight? No! That's right, all that scrap metal that your company went bang- See, here's a little controller. It looks- Well, it's not exactly a PS2 controller. But you know, they give you a controller as your character. It's kind of fun. Ah, red spot again. Alright, so this episode might be a little longer than 12 minutes just to get you some robot action. Or maybe I'll edit out some stuff. We'll see. Volga. La la la. Am I at the red spot already? Well, that was easy. Uh oh! Dr. Horai! Hey, professor, are you dead? Dr. No, you were a doctor. Why? <laughs> Now, uh, I'm not there yet. Oh, that was. What, how come I. I want to go up! There we go. This is Mika Banhara, live from downtown Senjo. Oh, <laughs> that accent. Immeasurable devastation is unfolding here at the hands of an enormous humanoid weapon. It is firing what appear to be beams of massive destructive power because. Sorry. The weapon appeared with no warning. The public and the authorities appeared to be in a total I wonder if they just panic. left this from the Japanese. It is a scene of destruction and carnage. What you are seeing is not a movie. Because it doesn't Today, quite sound casualties have been reported. like someone faking an accent. It sounds like she's really trying to do English only as Japanese. Ah, German. Oh, it's the German guy! He's great! You're just in time. Fine. Then we will launch the well. <laughs> huh? Isn't it incomplete? Alchemic drive hasn't been tested. <laughs> he, this guy is going to launch anyway. Ah, oh, the voice acting in this game is amazing. If anything goes wrong, it will be a catastrophe. Yeah, but it's worth it. While I would like. That's okay. I'm still gonna skip some of this just so we can get some robot action. We have no choice. Pray that it works. <laughs> You've got to be joking. 
Oh, no, no, nobody tells you things. Atomic drive ignition. At one point, I'm pretty sure he says, Launch the Meganite missiles! And it's beautiful. Okay. Good. That was a good scene. That was a needed scene. Oh, shit, it's like Evangelion! Yeah. Actually, one other big O, I think, comes up from underground. I know Ava's do. But what other ones have, like, nice little rampy things like that? The Gundams are just kind of Gundam-y in what? space. What is I... this? It's robot. What's happening? Blue. Yes, yes, that's lovely. There we go. R1 and L1 buttons. It's, it's just... It's great. Because it's how a robot would work. And then you have... Ugh. I forgot these, these controls are actually pretty hard. Oh, okay. So yeah, you have to go to a place where you can see it, and then if you run out, lose sight of your uh, robot, you have to press select to go back to the hero so you can see it again. <laughs> you can get trashed. All right. So first, I have to. Where am I gonna jump to? I'll just jump up there. That's a good vantage point. Okay, so then we go to my robot. Oh yeah, that's right. I the used the. Has taken a oh, I can't see the street. <laughs> Look at how he walks! Like that's amazing. And then a jump. What did I just do? I don't know. I just need to walk over a fence. This fence. It's too hard to walk over. Where can I? That's all right. I'm just gonna turn this way then. Look! Look at this amazing walking. I don't know how to change the camera, but like, I don't know. You can actually get on your robot too. Oh, I didn't need. To. That's why I didn't need to go over the fence. Chairman, can you hear me? Doctor Wilkes. The enemy's coming. What should I do? Fire the Harkin laser. First. Will do. Pew. <laughs> what? Harkin laser? What armor? So this is Volgara's power. Save a line. No. Launch Bevel missile. That's not the line. Powerful, but that's okay. But few enough. I'll do it anyway. Whoa, he disappeared! It teleported to avoid attack? Yes, it did. That must be Volgara's defense mechanism. The Our attacks won't hit. I have to turn around slowly and awkwardly hand -to -hand and get some hand to hand combat. Should not react to punches, throw it. All right. I gotcha. I gotcha. I can. I can fake this. First thing I Oh boy. Okay. Where am I? Ah! Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I like the little news things in the. Oh! Yeah, if you. <laughs> if you. You can, like, kind of see your view from, like, the news camera, too. So I just saw right there that I wasn't really close enough to him. Ooh. You can hear tremors from my ring. Sorry about that. I gotta turn. Turn. Oh, no. Enemy energy. Yay, it's effective. Okay. Eh. <laughs> it's like a cat fight. Eh. <laughs> I did it. I didn't do it. Oh, no. I'll teach you a powerful punch. Okay. Tip an analog stick out to the side. Okay. Then rotate it up. Oh, okay. But I need to I need the robot. I need, come on, come here. Come here. This is a hook! 
if it the, if the robot knocks down a building down. that you're on, it's it bad news. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, now you try. First, I need to get closer. Now, what did I just do? Good. Okay. Hold down the R1 and L1 buttons together to charge. Then tip up. Okay. I think I just skipped another one, but that's. Oh! I'm destroying everything, but that was awesome! <laughs> so there you go. That's a little tiny taste of Robot Alchemic Drive. And uh, I guess I don't know. This is one of those games where you either love it or hate it. Shortly after We're just gonna today, let this news report play while I talk. But yeah, you either soil. love it or hate it because it's really a the unique style of game with like the controls the and Italian having different calamity. vantage points and having to run around town to try and get into it. And it did the some of the robots actually transform, so you can like ride on them too. So you can like fly on it, and then you have to jump off and get on another building so you can see. But you have to protect your person, and you have to. Also, get your robot battle, to defeat things even though you can't see where you're going robot. all the time. The intervention it was fun. Robot, the voice the acting is terrible. I've not gotten super far in this game. The, um, the last time I played it was probably a good six unknown. or seven years ago, and I got like halfway Damage through the game. But it was just a lot of fun to play because of its weird uniqueness. So... Uh, I suggest this game if you can ever find it somewhere. I don't think it's available for download at this time because, like I said, uh, me and my friend are the only people I've ever known who have heard about the game, let alone played it and bought it. But Robot Alchemic Drive is a go for me. It's, it's It gets a thumbs up. It's It's a lot of... It's different, but different in a good way. So, like I said, if you ever find it somewhere, go ahead and pick it up. I don't think it's very expensive because it didn't get like niche cult status. And that concludes day seven of the 12 games of Christmas special. And as always, we know how this ends. For the seventh game of Christmas, I think that I will play Robot Alchemic Driving, Mind Jack Super Hacking, Sonic Losing Rings, Mega Man X the Third, Relaxing Endless Ocean, Metroid Zero Love, and a random verse from Guard 3.